Happy Hispanic Heritage Month and welcome to today's episode of Takeout Tuesday in Crayondo Exodus. We're here in the heart of Langley Park to check out Pollo Granjeros. Feliz mes de la herencia hispana. Estamos aquí en nuestro programa Creando Éxito junto a la comida de llevar los martes. Estamos aquí en el corazón de Langley Park en Pollo Granjero. We're going to sit down with one of the owners, Luis, and get a taste of Latin cuisine. Hoy nos vamos a sentar con Luis, el dueño de Pollo Granjero, que nos va a hablar de su comida latina. We are here in the heart of Langley Park at Pollo Granjero, sitting down with one of the owners, Luis. Thank you for having us today. Thank you for being here. For all of us non-Spanish speakers, what does Pollo Granjero mean? It stands for chicken farm. Farm chicken, yeah. Farm, farm chicken. chicken yeah. So why open farm chicken or Pollo Granjero here in Prince George's County? Our family has lived here for over 30 years or so. We actually have one business here in Prince George's County that offers alcohol beverages. We wanted to open something different to attract a different crowd. That makes sense. That, that's, that's the question I have. What is in the menu that makes it so attractive so people can come and enjoy your food? We focus on Peruvian charbroiled chicken, but we've also incorporated some of the dishes from our other restaurant, Mexican, Salvadorian, Honduran, and Guatemalan dishes. Sort of like open it for everyone, you know? And we don't try to specify or target a particular country, but open to whomever, you know? Each side of the, of, the, of the kitchen has two different sides. We have a set of cooks for the chicken specifically, and then everything else, other type of cooks. And on each side, we have over 30 years of experience. Wow. <laughs> That's impressive. I think now, I'm, I'm ready to try the food <laughs> because I'm sure that the food is good. And the, the fact that they have different dishes from different countries representing, especially in the Langley Park area, when we know that it's a very diverse community, right. It's good to have you here, but I understand that uh, it was hard at the beginning because when you started, the pandemic hit us. Right, yeah, we started building this place right before the pandemic hit, and so we had a lot of difficulties throughout the process, but by the grace of God, we did it. What kind of helped you get through COVID? I know the shutdown was rough and all of that, so how did you go get through it and open back up to this wonderful place? It was challenging going through our, the inspections. We received a lot of uh, support from the county in terms of funding as well. Prince George's County has been really good to us. So what's your favorite part about operating here in the Prince George's County or the Langley Park community? I'd say the diversity. You, know, it's, you see a lot of people from different countries and that gives you a good vibe. Well, it's becoming vibe right now that, you know, Purple Line is gonna go next door. How you feel that that is impacting uh, our businesses in this area? We are a little bit concerned, uh, but at the same time excited uh, because this, this may bring a lot of opportunities for everyone. So it's something that we're looking forward to. Your story is amazing. This is family run, family operated, beautiful with plenty of countries <laughs> focused on your cuisine. I think I'm ready to eat, Rocio. Uh, I am. Supporting you in that one. <laughs> Let's go for it. Let's find out a little bit more about your menu and try um, some of your dishes. Absolutely. Sounds good. Luis, I'm so happy right. right now. I'm so happy. What do we have here? What are we What are yeah. we showing off? Absolutely. So we can start off with the bre Salvadorian breakfast. So it's a typical breakfast. Plantains, refried beans, sour cream, sausage, rice, cheese. Here we have fajita, mixed fajita with steak, chicken, and shrimp. Nice. Fan favorite, pupusas. Pupusas. <laughs> right. Uh, I'll let you in on a little okay. secret. You can rank it for I me. tried pupusas for the first time because of Rocio here okay. last year. Wow. And so they have become a personal favorite of mine. So I'm super okay. excited for that. <laughs> you, yeah, you need to be thankful for her. <laughs> <laughs> and over this side is um, carbo chicken. So is this our signature dish, will yes. we say? Yeah. Here, perfect, okay. Now, is this French fries? What, what, for someone who's not used to this cuisine, what mm -hmm. am I expecting when That'd I come here? That'd be Nice, beautiful. Cause, cause, uh, Yuka. Yuka, right. <laughs> nice, beautiful. Okay, so I will be nice today, Rocio. I will let you get the first try. <laughs> what are you going for? <laughs> I think I, oh, it's so hard to say, <laughs> but 
I'm gonna leave the pupusas alone. I'm gonna take some, uh, this is sweet plantain. Mm -hmm. You can either have sour cream on it or you can put a uh, refried uh, beans. Nice. Oh, you and that's how you eat it. Or both. Yeah. Or both. Right. I'll take this. That's, that's something. And also uh, the yuca, yuca mm -hmm. frita, that's how we call it. Mm -hmm. That's a, a popular dish. The good thing about it is like you have to dip it in the sauce. You have to have the sauces. Yeah, okay. you have to have the sauces. That makes sense to me. Yes. So Luis, what's the inspiration behind your menu? What made you pick these amazingly beautiful dishes? These are the most popular ones. You oh, know, really? A lot of people love our pupusas. Breakfast, you can have it any time of the day. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter, 9 p.m. you can come and ask for it. So we do. So, how do you like the uh, guacamole? I'm so happy. But you know, I can't give an honest review unless I try everything. Yes. So we should yes. just cut the camera. Uh, I'll you eat need to everything. Take your time. Go one by one. Yes. <laughs> yes. So what would you suggest to someone who is coming here for the first time, who's not familiar with the cuisine? What would you have them order? So it would either be our chicken or a fajita. It's good. I'm gonna let you handle the rest of the interview. I'm, I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> we'll see you we later. Know we know. Bye, Jordan. This is a, um, a very traditional. I really love about this place is that you have choices. Right. If you uh, want to eat pupusa, you can have pupusa, but if you want a breakfast for dinner, you can still have a breakfast we get for that dinner. A lot. You yeah, absolutely. get it all day. And of course, the chicken. Who doesn't like chicken? <laughs> I love chicken, especially when it comes with uh, yuca. Yeah, that's what we so. tried. We tried to diversify as much as we can. And this is good. I mean, and of course, we had shrimps, uh, chicken, beef, yeah, try and the tortillas. Steak. You need to try steak. to steak. Oh. I want to take this tape. <laughs> See, this is, a, this is what I love about my job, that we need, <laughs> that we eat. <laughs> Hire me, please. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that flavor. No? It's good, it tastes like, I don't know, the family bar barbecue, but like right. a step above, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Delicious. Oh my goodness. Louise, thank you so much. Thank you for, for being opening here. up your restaurant, your kitchen, and giving me the most amazing meal. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> it's an honor to have you guys. Thank you thank so you. much. Uh, right. Please come, enjoy this food. <laughs>be proud and buy Prince George's. Síguenos en cualquiera de las plataformas de las redes sociales donde veas el logo de Desarrollo Económico del Condado de Prince George y no te olvides, estás seguro, siéntete orgulloso y compra en Prince George's.